So to all my fellow TIs out there, I would like you to notice how cowardly your country is. I'm sure you can truly appreciate how it feels to have a bunch of cowards team up on you using superior technology to what is available to you. So I don't think I have to convince any of you that the military is a bunch of pansies, that your police are a bunch of cowards, that America is full of cowards waiting to pick on the weak. They're vultures. They're vultures with their mouth full of worms. And when their time is done, they will be motionless vultures with maggots picking at their eyes. Quite ironic, really. Maggots who are motionless vultures with maggots picking at their eyes. Well, that's a story for another day. So you now see how in the Middle East and North Africa and all over the world, really, Muslims are persecuted by cowards. Satanists, really. I'm sure we can all agree that they're Satanists. They have narcissistic qualities, demonic qualities, etc., etc. But I just want to make sure that none of us are confused about the fact that they're cowards. The most brave of them, the most brave among them, is an honorless coward, a dishonorable fool. They lack basic principles, basic humanity, and they're full of cowardice. How else are you to understand them than by being, than unless by being completely honest and looking around the world and seeing what America does to other people? Let's face it, you know, the West is full of cowards and America is the biggest cowards of all. And why else have such a huge military budget? What are you so afraid of, cowards? Why else pick a fight with the weakest people? You know, they avoid fighting Russia and North Korea, even Iran. And who do they fight with? We're going to fight a war on terror to try to show the world that we're tough when we're really a bunch of cowards. We're going to have this huge NATO alliance when we already have a bigger military budget pretty much than the rest of the world put together because America's cowards. Very sad. Very, very sad. I'm sure that you will never take the police seriously when they tell you that someone else is a coward or the military or the politicians or any of these people. I'm sure you truly grasp the fact that we're dealing with cowards here. So I encourage all UTIs to spread the word that the military is full of cowards. You shouldn't support your troops because at least part of their budget goes to quote unquote domestic terrorism, which is really them terrorizing people domestically. And I'm sure you can relate to Muslims across the world who are being picked on unfairly by cowards who use drone strikes. The same cowards that team up with hundreds of people just to gang stalk one person are the same cowards who team up with dozens of countries just to take on one cause. These are the cowards. Did they invade Iraq and Afghanistan by themselves? Or did they reach out to their allies like the cowards they are? Did they come forward and tell the country what they're doing, or did they do it in secret as the cowards they are? Is not the government run in secret by a bunch of cowards who have such a dishonorable, scrupulous cause that they can't even tell the country what they're doing? Are we not dealing with cowards? Is not the most blatantly obvious characteristic of these people Cowardice, not narcissism per se, not even demonic characteristics per se, but cowardice. What you have is very, a very aggregate situation, you know, where you're combining different things, you know, you're combining the military, the um, mental health, and you know, the cowards in secret society. These are all the cowards getting together, you know? A bunch of cowards. I mean, is, is there any other way to look at it besides cowardice? 
have you not noticed me man up? Going on two years now. The top martial artist challenge. And who was I challenging? You know, was it not blatantly obvious that I'm the top martial artist? And all they can do is troll the comments. And the best they can do, the bravest among them, lost 10-1, 10-0, depending on how you look at it. Are we not talking about cowards here, ladies and gentlemen? What they have done, the precipitous phenomena known as gang stalking, group stalking, community ha harassment, organized stalking, organized harassment, is it not being done by cowards? Cowards who can't stand on their own ten toes. I'm sure you know that some of these people don't agree with what is being done, but they can't face the world without having an unfair advantage because they're cowards. They can't deal with politics without having an unfair advantage manipulating and cheating because they're cowards. Cowards that deserve to be eviscerated, disemboweled. These are cowards. I would say neuter them or something, but they're already neutered, basically. Where's their balls? Where is their courage? The land of the free, the home of the brave? Do you not see the hypocrisy in that? Are they not complete cowards? The people that are supposed to be the bravest among Americans are complete cowards. Do you not see that? Do you not see? So help me God, they are cowards. I'm the top martial artist in this country and I'm telling you, I am telling you beyond any doubt, these are cowards. Period. And do you think you are free? Because you're opinionated, you've been targeted by cowards. The land of the captive who are held captive by cowards. Whether it is physical captivity, the psych wards, the prison system, or whether it is mental captivity. Because you, in your mind, feel like you are stuck in America. You don't want to move to a foreign country. You're taking on the characteristics of demons, which includes cowardice. As I pointed out earlier in this video, the main characteristic that describes them perfectly is cowardice. Cowardly behavior. Did, could any of them dream of doing what I'm doing? Of course not. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? We all know they would not dream in their wildest dreams, in their bravest dreams of doing a fraction of what I am doing. They are cowards. Hiding behind their technology. Feeling tough because they're going to war with the bravest people on the planet, the jihadists. But they're cowards. American troops are cowards. They are drone striking cowards from the bottom to the top. We all know the irony, the sick, sick irony of a bunch of cowards, a bunch of mentally ill cowards, gays, feminists, Satanists, talking about religious fanatics need to be drugged. They're the most fanatical of all. They've killed more than all the other religious fanatical movements in history put together. They're a bunch of Satanist slime. The irony of the most sick people in the world in charge of the pharmaceutical sector, in charge of mental health. Don't you see the irony? We are dealing with cowards, ladies and gentlemen. The type of cowards, if I went to their Kufar fucking home, grabbed them by their cowardly chicken neck and put a fucking their own gun down their throat after stabbing their wife to death and taking it from her, what kind of bravery would manifest? None. Because I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, honorable viewers and trolls alike, that these are the biggest cowards of all. Cowards cheat. Cowards manipulate. Cowards plot in secret and have secret agendas. 
cowards. Even ISIS and so-called terrorists make public their goals, make public what they are doing, openly challenge the cowards. My friends, if there is one thing that you learn from me, let it be that America is the land of the cowardly and the captives. Not because a bunch of beautiful Babylonian whores have captivated us either. Because a bunch of cowards in secret society lodges, in the military, in mental health, in the police department, have a bunch of cowardly sheep held captive. Thank you.